Hello and uh, welcome back to our video tutorial series on EDIUS 8. And before we get started uh, in this series, just want to point out if you are a brand new user to EDIUS, just downloaded the trial version and you are anxious to get going with a project and you are moving faster than I am able to record this tutorial series, uh, there is help over at uh, EDIUSTips.com, our website. Um, I would recommend uh, taking a look at our video series on EDIUS 7. Uh, there are some free tutorials online there for uh, EDIUS 7. And then if you want more information, you can sign up for our, one of our memberships and uh, take a look at our complete series on uh, EDIUS 7. And that way uh, you will be able to get rolling faster than what we might be able to record this series on version 8. Most of the things that you will learn there in uh, version 7 will be applicable to version 8. Not a lot has changed in the way the interface works, the way um, settings and the styles of editing that are available. It's all pretty much the same and so you'll be able to learn a lot by uh, taking a look at EDIA 7 while we uh, are recording these tutorials on version 8. Now, if you are a seasoned editor of EDIUS and you're just anxious to learn about some of the new features that are available in version 8, we will get to those. Uh, we, uh, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be recording a number of tutorials uh, covering some of those new features. However, if you are impatient and you want that information before we are able to record it, there are tutorials available online already. Go to YouTube and um, also EDIUS has some resources, or Grass Valley has some resources uh, to help you get started with some of those new features. But as we record this series on version 8, we are going to approach it from the viewpoint of a brand new user to EDIUS, someone who's just maybe downloaded the free trial and is checking out the program. We want to be able to create a series here that people who have maybe have never edited video before, maybe have never worked with EDIUS, software before, we'll be able to sit down and follow a step-by-step -step method uh, and become familiar with some of the main features of the program. And by following the series, within just a couple of days, be able to uh, be editing videos. Now, in this first lesson, we're going to become familiar with the main windows that uh, are in the software interface of EDIUS. And to do that, I'm just going to open up a program that I've already uh, been working with uh, in version 7 of the program and uh, import it into version 8 and see how it goes. Now remember we are working with a brand new installation of EDIUS and so it is at the moment not remembering any of my own personal preferences or presets that I have made and have become familiar working with. We're just opening up a project here and working with it using all of the presets that Grass Valley has set by default when they ship the program. So as we record our tutorials here, um, you will probably notice that I will be making some changes to the presets. All right, so here we are at the main default window as uh, it would appear if you have two monitors attached to your computer. So by default, uh, EDIUS recognizes that I actually do have two monitors attached to my desktop here and so it's only displaying two of the four main windows that are available when you edit videos. You'll see that we can separate these two windows one from another. This window that I'm moving around is called the timeline window and it is where most of the editing happens. This is where you assemble all of your media, your video clips, your graphics, your audio clips. Uh, you'll see that the video and graphics would go up in the upper section of the timeline window where you see the V standing for video and down here we would have our audio tracks, our narration, our ambient audio, our music tracks and you'll see that uh, they are represented by uh, little square blocks but as we open them up using the little arrow button here you'll see here that the waveform of the audio uh, becomes visible. Now, it looks like by default, EDIUS 8 ships uh, using a, a type of waveform that is uh, maybe not the, the most obvious. You can barely see the waveform. 
However, uh, do not despair. You can change this to a much uh, better representation of the audio by changing the style or the type of waveform. And you can do that under settings. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now because this is really bothering me. <laughs> uh, and you go to settings, user settings, and open up the application tab there and go to timeline. And there you should be able to change the waveform over here from what's called linear waveforms to a log waveform. Let's hit apply, hit OK, and now as we go back to our timeline, we'll see that we have a much better waveform represented here of our audio. You'll see that by uh, uh, pointing to this timeline cursor, this big, big line that comes down through the timeline window uh, and moving that around, that we can scrub through the video timeline. We can also play the video timeline by just hitting the space bar of our keyboard. And you can stop the video again by just hitting the space bar one more time. So scrubbing, playing, stopping with the keyboard uh, space bar. Okay, so that's the timeline window. And down the road, we'll probably spend more time, uh, definitely spend more time with the timeline window. Up here, we have what's called the preview window. And right now we only have uh, a clip showing on the right hand side, but let's just uh, bring a clip here into the play monitor. And over here is what's called the record monitor. And here in the play monitor is where we uh, bring in our clips to take a look at them, to decide just uh, what portion of the clips we want to use down into our timeline. So this is a place where we preview our clips, we look at our clips and make our edit decisions. And over here in the record monitor is what displays what is currently active on the timeline. So as we move down the timeline, we see that that monitor reflects the position of the timeline cursor in the timeline window. Now, once again, the reason why we're only seeing these two main windows uh, here in our tutorial is because I am recording these tutorials on a system that has two monitors attached and my other two main windows, my palette window and my bin window, are located over on my second monitor. If you are working on a laptop or a computer system that only has one monitor, your Windows configuration by default probably looks more something like this. And so now we have the other two main windows of EDIUS showing up on our one screen. And again, we can adjust this as we place our cursor right in between two of the main windows and start dragging it across, you'll see that as uh, one section of windows becomes larger, the other automatically becomes smaller. Uh, in order to move these independently of each other, we simply have to undock them, uh, separate them a little bit from the others, and then we can uh, move them independently, make them larger, make them overlap. But then as we bring them back and place them into place, and they kind of snap together to become what's called docked together, then once again, as we move them right in the center there with our uh, mouse, we can, uh, with one stroke, be moving all four together, up and down, sideways. Looks like this one's not quite docked. Let's bring them together, snap it together. And now, as we move up and down, they follow each other. Okay, so the two new windows that we have over here, this is called the bin window. This is where we uh, import all of our media to, all of our audio clips, all of our graphics, all of our video clips. We place them in here, and EDIUS allows us the opportunity to organize our uh, clips into various folders to make them uh, easy to find when we're editing. And you can set up your own folders, name them the way that you like, and sort out your clips so that uh, they're easy to work with when you're uh, working on your project. And then down here is what's called the palette window. And we can toggle back and forth between uh, different uh, palettes that allow us to do different things. We can have an effects palette, for example, that has all sorts of video filters, audio filters, uh, transitions, effects. Uh, but then as we need to work 
with the information of a clip, tab over to the information palette and find out more information about any given clip that uh, we point to and becomes active. Now you'll notice that uh, as I point to any one of these windows, right now the focus of our attention is inside the palette window, and you'll see that it is surrounded by a blue border here. If we, however, point up to our bin window, you'll see that the blue border then goes to the bin window, and our focus of attention has turned towards the bin window. We know that we are working with the bin window now. This is the window that's currently active, shall we say. And this is important because some of the keyboard shortcuts, for example, that you will learn uh, to speed up your editing process may have the same assignment but to different tasks depending on which window you are pointed to. So for example control G might perform some task, uh, sp a specific task if you're pointed to, to the timeline window but if your focus of attention is over in the bin window control G might actually do something completely different. And so if you're working with a keyboard shortcut and it's not doing what you think it should, it's probably because your focus of attention is in the wrong window for the keyboard shortcut you are trying to do. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Whatever you point to, whatever main window that you point to, that's the main active window. Now in addition to the four main windows of EDIUS, there are of course other windows that can be opened uh, to perform specific tasks. Uh, you can click on an icon there, for example, and uh, be able to work with an audio monitor. So that's called the audio mixer window. If you wanted to work with a waveform vector scope, you can open that up by clicking on this icon in the timeline window. And so there are a number of other windows that uh, open up uh, and allow you to perform specific tasks. We'll see that uh, more as we go along. But these are the main four windows I want you to become familiar with as you start to learn EDIUS. The preview window, the timeline window, the bin window, and also the palette window. Just one more thing I'll point out in this lesson is that any one of the tabs in the palette window can be moved. You can drag and drop it. Just point to the tab and drag and drop it into the bin window. Let's put them all up there for now. And the reason that you might want to do that is, let's say you're working on a specific task, like, for example, editing your timeline, and you want to create more uh, room for your timeline. By placing all of our palettes up in our bin window, we now have more real estate, more room to drag out our timeline window. Let's just separate this, detach it, undock it, shall we say, uh, for a moment while we drag this out and spread it right across the bottom of our one monitor layout. And uh, now we have a much wider timeline window to work with as we are performing that particular type of task. And if you are working with just the one monitor, you may want to actually save a preset. Once you've got the windows about the size that you like to work with, you might want to save this as a personal preset so that the next time that you want to uh, have this particular configuration, you can quickly go to it. And you can do that over in the view mode. Go down to Windows Layout and save Current Layout and give it a name. We'll maybe call this Editing Layout. But then there'll be other times when maybe you want to concentrate on organizing your clips, for example. Let's say you've you've imported thousands of clips and you want to spend uh, a couple of hours organizing those into nice folders like this. Well, you would probably want to make your bin window a lot larger. And so once again, we can uh, move our windows around, rearrange them here a little bit. The timeline window for that particular task isn't going to be that important, so we can make it quite small. We could make our uh, preview window a lot smaller as we organize our clips. In fact, we could change our preview window a little bit so instead of showing two monitors, it only shows one, and that's up in the view monitor. Just go to single mode, so it's only showing one. And then we can uh, make our bin window quite large. 
And that way, if your major task at the moment is uh, sorting through the clips and arranging them into appropriate folders. And just as a quick example here, we won't uh, spend too much time uh, showing you uh, about the bin window. We'll do that in another tutorial. But let's say we want to start organizing some of these clips. We want shots of education or using the control key, pick out a few more shots uh, that uh, have to deal with education and when you've got your selection just drag and drop that into the folder uh, that you have named uh, education and of course you can name your folders to be anything you want as you organize your clip. Well this would be uh, a, a window setup for organizing clips and so we might want to save this particular configuration as a personal preset for a Windows layout. Let's go to Save Current Layout, New, and we might call this uh, Organizing Clips. And as you develop a number of uh, Windows configuration presets, you can quickly change in between the two. So after we're finished organizing our clips, we may want to go back to the preset that we made for editing. Just click on that, and we are taken back to the layout that we saved for editing. All right, I think that that probably does it. Gives you a good introduction to the main four windows of the EDIUS interface and the way that you can rearrange those, organize those windows in different ways to speed up your edit process.